Hey everybody, I get a lot of questions on the different exams that are out there, and I just took the uh, CYSA Plus beta exam, which is the uh, CS1002 exam. And I just wanted to give you my uh, quick thoughts on it, because I know I have a lot of students who are asking about the beta exam and how close our current uh, CISA version 1 course is to the beta exam, and what differences you may see. So uh, what I wanted to let you guys know is that there is a big change between version one and version two. Uh, version one is what we currently teach, and that has been out for about two and a half years. And version two, the real exam for that, is coming out in April. In April, we will have a new course, which will be designed specifically around version two, which is why I took the practice exam today. Uh, now, the reason why I took it today is to make sure that when I'm building the course, I know exactly what's in it, so I can make sure I'm giving you guys the best content. But some big takeaways from the exam. Um, version two is much, much harder. Version two is trying to test your ability to have the experience of somebody who's been working in the field for about three to four years. That means you better be really comfortable with reading logs and being able to do analysis on the fly. Um, I would say that every third question on the exam, I had 95 questions in about 190 minutes to do it. Uh, it took me about an hour to get through it. And out of those 95 questions, I had five simulations and 90 multiple choice. Of those 90 multiple choice, about 30 to 40 of those were log questions. They were giving you things like an Nmap output, or they would give you things like uh, a uh, air crack output and ask you which type of um, password cracking it was, or if it was how you're collecting data. They would show you um, packet captures. They would show you uh, data exfiltration, all sorts of things like that. And you had to look at those and figure out what was going on um, or what you would do to stop it. So for instance, if you saw a process output and you saw one process was using up 98% of the resources, you'd have to kill that process by selecting the right command A, B, C, or D of how to kill a process in Linux on a Linux server. So it is much more in depth than the current version one exam. Um, so I, I, I do recommend if you're playing a game your CISA and you want to have it a little bit easier on yourself, go ahead and take it before the new one comes out in April. Now, when the new one comes out in April of 2020, uh, CompTIA will do what they always do, which is give you a six-month grace period. So from April until about October, you'll be able to take either version one, which is our current course, or version two, which will be our new course uh, that'll be coming out in April. And you'll be able to take either of those exams and choose the one you want. Uh, right now, I know a lot of people are signing up for the beta exam because when you take the beta, it's only $50. Um, but I will tell you that the beta exam is significantly harder than what you are used to. They have added an entire new domain. So instead of four domains, there's five domains on the exam. And the uh, objectives go a lot deeper in how they want you to do it. As far as the simulations, they are much, much more in depth. Um, I had one simple drag and drop, and then I had four that you had to actually go in and do things by correlating logs, figuring out what was the problem, and then identifying what the recommendations were. Um, there was even one where you had to go into a console and run a bunch of commands uh, to be able to do a scan around the network and then identify what things were open and which things weren't and those type of things. Uh, I'm not going to go into too many details because NDA and I'm not allowed to tell you all of what's on the exam, but just to let you know, it is much more in-depth than what you're going to see on the version 1 exam. So you will need to do a lot of hands-on training for this uh, new uh, version 2 exam when it comes out in uh, April. Um, for those of you who are um, taking the beta exam, definitely go through the version 1 course. It's the best thing out there. The thing about beta exams is there's no content out there for you to study yet. All there is is a list of exam objectives and then the current version 1 stuff. Um, Go through the version one stuff, get really comfortable with logs, get really comfortable with how you do remediations, because that's all the stuff that's going to be very important for you on the version two test, either the beta or the real one. Uh, for those of you who are waiting until April or beyond, we will have a version two a course out. It'll be very hands-on. We're going to be focused extremely detailed in that course, uh, because you're going to have to be detailed if you want to be able to pass this exam. It's, it's much harder. Um, so yeah, that, that's all. I just want to give you guys a quick heads up because I get a lot of questions on that. Uh, if you do want to take the beta, you can still sign up. Just go to pearsonview.com. They charge $50 to take it. If you take the beta, you don't become certified until April because they, they take all of the results. And when you finish the exam, you get something that looks like this that just says, hey, you took it, um, but you don't get a score. You don't know if you passed or failed yet. They take all of the results from everybody who took the beta, and they usually collect about four or 500 exams, and then they decide based on that where the cut line should be. 
who passes and who fails. And that comes out in about April when the new exam comes out. And they use that as the guidance of what is good and what is, uh, what is a good question, what is not a good question, and where the pass line is. So if you are taking it because you want to get certified and you're like, hey, it's 50 bucks instead of 350, that's fine. But just realize you're going to be waiting about six months to get your results. If you are already certified as CISA and you want to go ahead and take the beta, I'd recommend doing that because it's not going to hurt you. And if you do pass it, that automatically is going to renew your old CISA for three more years. If you don't pass it, then you can study again and take version two or go and get your continuing education. So really the beta is meant for people who are already CISA version one certified or instructors or people who have a lot of on the job experience. If you're brand new uh, to CISA, don't go take the version two beta because you're not going to do well. Um, you have to have a lot of experience to be able to pass it, uh, is, is my personal opinion. So hopefully that helps you guys. Just want to give you a quick uh, rundown of what I saw and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks. If I can hit the finish button. <laughs>